What is up everybody, it's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 world overview and today we're going to be looking at Rock Creek. So this is a new world that just came out, it is by Luan Sims and I am so excited y'all because I have been keeping my eye on this world for the longest time and I'm finally getting around to look at it. Now this world uses every single expansion pack and it also uses some stuff packs as well. So it only uses three of them, those are outdoor living living, town life stuff, and then you're gonna need 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff. Also, Luan said that he used a door from Hidden Springs, so you're gonna also need Hidden Springs as well. And on top of that, this world does use one piece of custom content, but everything will be listed on the download page so y'all can go and check it out. So I'll leave it linked down below. I'll also leave Luan's channel linked down below as well so y'all can go ahead and check them out. But I want to check out this world today, y'all, because, like, I have been thinking about this world for a while. I've been sick, so I haven't been able to, like, record a lot of world overviews, but I'm finally back, and I just want to see what this world has to offer today. So, I think this world is unpopulated, but I'm not sure. I don't think there's any Sims that live here, though. But why don't we just go ahead and get into the video? So, I think I want to start maybe, like, over here, and we kind of just, like, work our way around. So, I guess maybe we could start back this way. This is the Parquet Snoopy or Park Snoopy. Let's check out this lot first. Oh, see, I was trying to figure out why this lot was called Snoopy. And I think it's supposed to be because of this building right here. It's supposed to be like Snoopy's doghouse, you know, like from the peanuts. That's kind of cool. <laughs> but anyway, though, we're down here at the dog park. So there is a fountain. I see a couple of park benches. There's a pet ball. There's a pet house over here. And then you have like this building. It looks like a barn or something. Let's just open it up to see what's on the inside. So inside of here, I see a couple of pet beds, some food bowls, a toy box. You have a little place to sit and then you have a couple of bathrooms. So I guess it's just like where the bathrooms are basically, but I think that's like everything for this lot. I don't really see anything else over here. So I guess that's like everything. Now, also this lot right beside it, y'all really caught my eye. It looks like the Titans Tower from Teen Titans. If anyone has ever seen that show or read the comics, it literally looks like the Titans Tower. And I need to see what's here. Like, I think it's listed as a house. The, oh, this world is populated. So the Moya household lives here. Who are they? If Luan watches this video, is this supposed to be like the Titans Tower? Because it's kind of giving Titan Tower vibe. Like, literally, that sim could be Starfire. You never know. <laughs> so this is Nadia Moya. Okay, she still could be Starfire, though. Like, you never know. So inside of here, we just have a lobby with places to sit. There's also a elevator. So let's go upstairs real quick to see what's up here. So up here, we have a living room. Ooh, that has like this tv right here it's like the hollow tv from into the future that's kind of nice though so you have like a living room a stereo over here we have a nice kitchen area which looks really cool i like the food processor here too there's a table over here as well and then going back over this way we have a couple bedrooms so for this one we just have a double bed we have a computer desk in here as well a dresser and then we kind of have like a hallway but there's really nothing over here and then going back this way we have a bathroom right here i love these hollow plants i gotta start using them more but they're so cool but we have a bathroom here and then we also have another bedroom over here so this one has a bunk bed and a lofted bunk bed and then there's also like a little tv and stuff underneath it so that's kind of cool and then of course like over here you kind of have some more empty space so i guess you could add stuff if you want to over here you just have a couple of mirrors but i guess you could always add more if you want it to well i'm kind of glad that we got to see what this house was because this one literally caught my eye from the map mode i'm kind of glad we got to see it y'all because that literally is giving off titan tower vibes okay so why don't we keep moving on let's go over here next so this is where the summer festival is it's at cali Mutsu 3, hopefully I pronounced that right, but this is just where the summer festival takes place. Okay, so I guess we could start maybe this way. So over here we have a area where you can grill and eat. We have a couple of chess tables over here. We have a summer concession stand. We have a photo tent over here. Moving on over this way, we just have places to sit, hopscotch, hot dog eating stand. Over here we have like a little area where you can come and sit down. So this looks really cool. Nice fountain in the middle. And then going back this way, we have a face painting tent. We we have some playground equipment we have uh, another place to sit here and then over here we have an art easel there's a swing set and then we even have i'm assuming the bathrooms are right here so let's just open this up to see yep so you just have your bathrooms you have your stalls your sinks there's a urinal in here as well and there's also a trampoline out here too i didn't even see that 
But I think that's like everything for this lot though. So it is like I said, just like a little summer festival lot, you know? Okay, why don't we maybe go back this way for a second? This is the Nuts and Bolts Bot Emporium. Now this could just be a pre-made one, but I, I don't know unless we open it up. So why don't we just check this out real quick just to see? I think this is the pre-made one that comes with Into the Future, but I could be wrong about that. But either way, if you don't know, you could have your Sims come here to buy like you know, nanites and stuff like that for your plumb bots. But you have like your front register over here. You have like some desk over here too. Moving over this way, we have some sectionals where you can sit down. We have some plumb bots on display where you can, you know, of course, buy them if you want to. I guess you could also sell a plumb bot if you have one. So you just have a couple on display. There's a TV here. And then going back this way, you could actually make your own plumb bot with this object. You can also have yours charge if you have any over here. And then down below, I think we just have the bathrooms. Yeah, so you just have like your bathrooms down here. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is like the pre-made one if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong about that. Okay, so let's go back over this way. So we have the Parquet Simfest. Ooh, this is kind of nice. I like the color scheme of like the brown wood paneling and like the red carpet. I want to see what's underneath this though. Ooh, okay, so you have like your stage. I like how it has like the little stars. That's kind of cute. But you have like your stage for your showtime performances. You have a couple of these little lights and stuff out here as well. Going over this way, we have a grill and some picnic tables. And I think honestly, that's like everything. Oh, I didn't even see this. There's like stairs behind it so your sims can actually come up here it's kind of cool but yeah i think that's like pretty much everything for this lot though okay so let's keep moving on let's go back this way so over here we have the salon simport we also have the bar llama and then like over here we have the venta Ecombio creek hopefully i said that right this looks like a consignment store so why don't we check out the salon and then we'll check out the other lots so let's see this one first Ooh, this lot is nice i like how it looks like a skyscraper and stuff this is nice i don't even know where to start i guess we'll just look at the building first <laughs> let's just open it up real quick so let's go all the way down so when you first come in you have like your check-in desk or front desk area you have some bathrooms over here in the back over here we have some places to sit we have an arcade cabinet in the corner over here is kind of like the same thing just places to sit you have a nice fancy sculpture over here as well and then once you go upstairs you have a like couple office spaces so you have one here there's one over here and here as well some more over this way this right here looks like a meeting room i guess for sims so you can have them meet in here and let's go upstairs again to see if there's anything else up here i don't think so i think the rest of this is just like decorative but here's my thing where are the stylus stations at i don't know if i've seen any of the stylus stations oh maybe they're back this way oh that kind of makes sense yeah i can see them so like over here you have your stylus stations and then in the middle you just have like your clothes and stuff oh okay i was wondering like where it was at so i guess maybe like this one is more like an office building and then back here you have like the salon and stuff you know and then like going back this way we have this room with your tattoo chairs so if you didn't know this one your sims can give other sims tattoos and then this chair over here your sim can get a tattoo from another sim so you have like two of those and then over here you have your bathrooms and then you have like a little sitting area. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a theater or not, or maybe just like a place to come and watch TV, but you do have a TV over there. And I think that this building is a one story building. Yeah, so it's just like a one story. And then like, of course, over here, you have a parking lot and you have some nice fountains and stuff over here too. But I think that's like everything for this lot though. But honestly, y'all, this lot is really well made. Like I'm really taken back by that. Like I really like this one. Okay, let's go right beside it. So again, this is called the Bar Llama. So let's check this out. Okay, so we're down here at the Bar Llama. As you can see, it's a really nice tall building. It also looks like a skyscraper as well, but it's listed as a bar. So I'm gonna just scroll all the way down just so we can see from the bottom so down here it's kind of just empty you know you just have some empty walk space so i guess now we'll go ahead and go upstairs so up here is where you actually have the bar so your sims get off of the elevator over this way and then when you enter in you have a bar here with some tables you have a tv moving on over this way we have a big tv over here you have a little place to sit some tables in here a shuffleboard object and then going back this way we have some vending machines and arcade cabinets we have a pool table over here as well so you can always come and play games over here i guess this is like the arcade section you have your bathrooms over here on this side and honestly i think that might just be it for this lot though it really looks like a cool sports bar so i do like that but i think that's like everything for this building okay so now let's go be sighted again this is the venta and cambio creek 
I really hope I pronounced this right, y'all. But beside this is a consignment store, though. So as you can see, it also looks kind of like a skyscraper. Or it kind of reminds me of like a hotel, in a way. But why don't we open it up to see what's on the inside, though? All right, so all the way down at the bottom, we have an elevator. We have our consignment register over this way. We have a lot of different assorted objects on display. So we have china cabinets, lamps, some artifacts over here from Egypt and China and stuff like that. We also have some clothes over here. There's an art easel, places to sit. And then there's even like some more stuff over here, too. It's like a little model house. Do y'all know what house this is supposed to be? Because, like, is it one from the base game? I'm not really for sure. Maybe, like, one from Sims 2. I don't know. But you do have, like, a lot of different objects on display, as you can see. Okay, I do want to go upstairs to see what's up here. So it looks like it's just bathrooms. And I guess you have empty space to add stuff if you want. But I guess that's pretty much everything for this lot, though. Okay, so I think that we've seen all of the community lots from over here. So I'm going to go back this way for a second because we missed a couple. So over here we have the Mirador. Hopefully I pronounced that right. And then we have a couple of docks out here. So let's check out the Mirador first. It's across the street from the day spot in the bookstore store rabbit hole but i kind of just want to see what's down here though so it looks like a little like area so you can come down the steps there's a nice sculpture down here and then you have a couple places to sit but i think that's pretty much everything it's right by the water and stuff so you get a good view of like the water the bridge some of the trees and stuff like that this tower over here as well but i guess it's just more so like a little like area down here i don't really see anything else around it let's check out a couple of these docks i think they're just empty but i just want to see what's down here just to be on the safe side yeah so this one looks kind of empty so if you have a houseboat or something you can always dock it here if you want to and then there's like another one over here on this side this one is a little bit smaller but same rule apply you could just dock stuff out here if you want to let's go ahead and keep moving on i guess we could check out this section next so why don't we maybe start this way and we just kind of go back this way? So this is the crematorio. So this looks like a graveyard lot. I like these little white flowers that Luan used. I think these are like really cool. So it appears to be like two fountains out here. I'm going to press play for a second so you can see the water. But you have two fountains out here. You have your mausoleum over here in the middle. There are a couple of death flower bushes. Oh no, there's a death flower bush and you have a life plant. So kind of useful in my opinion and then you also have a bunch of graves out here so this world is populated by the way but i don't know if all these graves are going to be populated i think all of these just say remains and i think these on this side are also decorative but these look like the ones from plumbots okay well i think that's pretty much everything for this lot though it's not a super big graveyard lot but you have a lot of space so let's keep moving on let's go down this way so this is the biblioteca so this is a library and then we have like this little strip section so it's the parquet l Paso A and B. So we'll check out that next. And then we'll also check out the Zona de Pesa. So we'll check this out as well. So this looks like a fishing spot. But let's check out the library first to see what this looks like. Ooh, this is cute. You know what I like too? You know what I never really realized? I never really realized how many like signs and stuff that we got with Into the Future. Like that's literally a library sign. That's kind of cool. <laughs> let's just go ahead and open up the lot to see what it looks like on the inside though. So down here we have a couple of bookshelves there's also a stair we have a couple of tables and then over here we have our bathrooms moving on over this way we appear to have like a lot of computer desk in here some more bookshelves i kind of want to bring the walls up to make sure i'm not missing anything Ooh, this is cute i like this little wall display that's kind of nice but as you can see we have a lot of computer desk regular desk bookshelves and stuff we have some places to sit over here on this side so when you go upstairs you just have another room up here with some places to sit some more bookshelves oh there's even like a little kids corner i didn't even see this so you have like a little kids corner over here with some objects and stuff like that but i think that might just be everything for this lot so now let's go over here so again this is like a strip so we have like the a and the b so let's just check this out real quick i like this little plant thing this is kind of cool but over here looks like we have 3d chest or 4d chest i don't know but we have like a chest table over here moving down this way we have another chest table there's really not much out here though you know other than plants and stuff and then over here i think is pretty much going to be the same thing well kind of we have park benches so you just have like places to sit but i think that's like everything for the strip okay so now let's check out the fishing spot because i really want to see what's here out here we have a couple of grills and picnic tables and then like over here we have like this interesting building like this looks really cool 
I really like this one. Okay, so there is a telescope at the top. And then there's like something on the inside. So let's just open it all the way up. So down at the bottom, you kind of have like a little walkthrough area. There's a place to sit over here. And then there's also like another place to sit here. And then on the inside, you just have a couple of chairs and a plant on a table. And then when you go upstairs in here, you have a couple of bean bag chairs. And then you also have an art easel with some plants. So I guess you could just kind of come here to build skills or just hang out if you want to. I still think it's a very beautiful lot. And I love how it has like these orange trees around it and stuff and you get like a pretty good view of the rocks and stuff so if i press play you can see like the water and stuff going down the rocks so yeah i think this is pretty cool okay so let's keep moving on let's go ahead and go over here to this part of the world so over here we have the modern fire station so we'll check that out and then i guess afterwards we'll go over here and check out the galleria di arte creek so this looks like an art gallery so i guess we'll check out the fire department first Ooh, i like the fire department it kind of reminds me of like a mid-century modern house but I kind of like it though. I love the different colors on it too. Let's open it up though. So when you first come in, you have your fire truck, a regular truck and car, you have your inventing table. And then over here we have like the rest. I'm gonna change the color of this really quick. By the way, if you have an issue like this with the lights on the fire department or like the salon or something. So what you need to do is just click on a light and go to set color and set it to white and do all lights or whatever. And then as you can see, it'll like make it brighter for you. I don't know why this happens, but it's like a Sims 3 thing. But either way, over here though, we have a chess table, a little like sitting area by the TV. There's a game console, a foosball table. Oh, we even have like an office in here. So let's open this up for a second. So you have a desk, you have a place to sit, a bookshelf. I really like the blinds. I think that's kind of like a cool touch. And then like going over this way, we have our kitchen area. So we have our fridge, coffee machine, table and stuff like that. Outside of it, we have a grill and picnic table. There is a weight machine. And then over here, I think is just where the bathrooms are. So yeah, you just have like your showers and you have your bathroom in the middle so now let's go upstairs so up here we have another bathroom we have a stereo we have like some more workout equipment like treadmills and weight machines but there's a little place to sit and then going back over this way we have a little like place where your sims can sleep you have another bathroom over here as well and a dresser and i think that might just be it for this lot so let's go ahead and go back this way again this is the art gallery so i want to see what this looks like next oh this is actually nice i really like how it uses the solar panel roofing like i don't ever use that for anything but that's kind of cool i really like that okay let's open up the lot to see what's on the inside also too it's kind of cool because it looks like it could be like an art piece you know maybe it is supposed to be an art piece but it's kind of cool either way when you open up the building though you have some objects over here on display so we have like some stuff from egypt we even have like a couple of these little statues on display over here we have some artwork on the wall some tvs over here as well and then going over this way we have like a little place where you can come and sit down there are some bathrooms over here in the corner and then when you go upstairs, you have some more sculptures and stuff on display. So this looks kind of cool. Kind of like that. There's a place to sit in the corner as well. And I think that might just be it for this lot. You do have like some more art in the corner too. So let's keep moving on. I want to go back this way for a second because there's a couple of like docks and stuff over here. And then we also have this lot that doesn't have a name, but it's at the Bahia Perk 5. Hopefully I said that right. So it looks like a little hangout spot. And then we also have like a beach. It's called a playa. So let's check out this lot first and we'll check out the other ones so this looks like a little like log cabin type of place like i don't really know let's open it up to see so when you come in you have some places to sit by the door we have some tables so you have like a little sweet treat register you have like a stereo a couple bathrooms over here as well and i think that's like everything for inside of here and then when you go upstairs oh we got a mechanical bull I was not expecting that, but I guess up here is more like a recreational, like chill spot. So you have your mechanical bull, foosball table, a model train set. You know, if you didn't know, this object comes with Supernatural, but it's literally like a Sunset Valley on a really small scale. There's also a couple places to sit up here as well, but I think that's pretty much everything for this building. I guess it's just like a little hangout spot, you know? Okay, so I want to just scroll over here for a second. This again is just a beach, but I just want to see... Yeah, it's kind of empty. There is a lifeguard stand though. But other than that, though, it's pretty empty. So I just want to go back over here and just see what some of these docks have. So this is the first one. I don't know what's on the inside of this, but let's just open it up. There's nothing. I mean, there's boxes, but there's really nothing inside. <laughs> and then over here, I think both of these are just also empty as well. I really just wanted to see if there was anything. And I think this is the criminal warehouse. Yeah, this is the criminal warehouse, by the way. There's a couple of piers out here, though but I think that's pretty much it for this lot. Okay, so we've seen all of these. 
let's keep moving on. So over here, we have the Mr. Crunch's Fitness, and then we also have the El Caldero. Dero Magico. So this looks like an elixir shot. So I guess we'll check out the Mr. Crunch's fitness. I think this might just be a pre-mate lot. I am yeah, this is the pre-mate one. This is like the pre-mate one that comes if you have town life stuff. Like you could just like put it down in your world if you want. But I don't know if this was changed in any way. So let's just check it out real quick. No, I don't think so. I think this is just how it normally looks. But either way, you do have your treadmills, you have a bathroom over here, you have your weight machines over here in this corner. Back here you have a pool with some lounge chairs, and then once you go upstairs you have a stereo, and you have your bathrooms and stuff. So yeah, this is just like the pre-mate one though, but you know, if you need a gym, you can always come here if you want. Okay, so let's go back this way. Before we do, I want to just see what's down here at the Fortress Teller's wagon really quick. You have your wagon, there's a broom riding arena, there's a couple of grills and picnic tables out here doesn't really appear to be too much oh there's a fairy house but there doesn't really appear to be too much more out here all right so now we'll go over here and we'll check out the elixir shot oh y'all i really like this lot it kind of looks like it was somebody's house that maybe was converted into an elixir shop or maybe this still could be somebody's house i don't know but it kind of gives off like a house vibe you know i just really want to see what's on the inside let's just open it up real quick so when you come in you have your you know register over here you have a lot of different objects on the display a bookshelf gym cutting machine a lot of different like you know supernatural objects over here you have your magical mirror in the corner your alchemy station over here you have a fireplace and like a place to rock and sit and stuff like that you have your bathroom in the corner honestly it kind of reminds me of like the pre-mate one if i'm being serious but i really do like it still and then of course like you have a wraparound porch kind of so out here you kind of just have like some plants and then there's a beekeeping box jelly bean bush you have harvestables out here growing and there's also a fairy house and then is there anything in the back of it I don't really think so. I think it's just kind of empty back here, but you could always add something if you want, but that's kind of cool. I really do like this little lot. It's kind of cute. All right, so now let's go over here. This looks like just the equestrian training grounds, but we'll just see what it looks like real quick. Is this the pre-made one that comes with Appaloosa Plains? I feel like it is, but I could be wrong about that. But either way, you just have like a place where your horses can train and jump and stuff like that and race. And then like, of course, over here, you have like a little place for your Sims. There's a buffet table. There's a bar. You have places to sit out here as well i'm pretty sure this is the pre-made one but i could be wrong i'm not really for sure there is a grill out here as well and then of course over here you have like your barn so you have a couple hitching posts and then on the inside you just have a couple of stables and some hay for your horses and then right across the street from it you have your you know your equestrian center so you can enter horse competitions and stuff like that you have like some hitching posts for your horses some more stables and hay and stuff like that i know for a fact this is like a pre-mate one though so yeah i think maybe this one is also pre-mate okay so let's check out these other beaches over here so this is the playa willow and this is the playa creek so let's just zoom zoom down just to see so this one it looks like it's pretty empty and then the one beside it let's check out this one really quick so over here we have a grill and picnic tables and then we also have a lifeguard stand but other than that though it is kind of empty so you could add more stuff out here if you wanted to oh there is a sprinkler so i guess we have that but other than that no it's kind of empty okay and then of course over here we have like another pier so i just want to see what's out here pretty empty but i guess if you wanted to you could have a sim live over here and like they could like have this little island to themselves i guess so let's go back over this way so we do have a couple more lots to check out so over here looks a little bit different from the rest of the world maybe this is a little bit more like country or something like that i don't really know let's just check out this section so we do have a couple lots the parquet mirador and then we have the grady's junk shop so i guess we'll just zoom down just to kind of see what's here maybe this is more like a less affluent part of town or something like that it kind of gives off that vibe kind of so down here though we have the parquet mirador so we have a couple of of places to sit we do have a water tower over here or no this is a watchtower hmm i don't know what's going on on this part of the world but i'm on but i'm going to mind my business um behind it though we have some playground equipment so we have a slide some spring rides we have a seesaw a grill and picnic table out here as well and uh again we have this watchtower i don't know what was going on over here but i'm going to mind my business 
<laughs> and we have a couple of these houses. We'll check out these houses in a little bit, but I'm trying to just check out all of the community lots first. So over here, of course, we have our junkyard shop. This is a pre-made one, I believe. So you do, I don't even think you can dumpster dive in these. Nope, these are just decorative. But other than that though, you just have scrap you can dig through and then you have like a little office-y building, which just has like a desk and a bookshelf and fireplace. So nothing too, too fancy, but you know, you do have a scrap yard if you need it for something. Okay, let's keep moving on. So over here we have the Los Jardines de Rock Creek. So I don't know what that means, but let's just check this out. Oh, it looks like a community garden space. I think it's supposed to be that anyway. If not, we have a community garden space. So you have a lot of different harvestables. So we have cherry trees, lime trees, plum trees. There's onion out here and grapes and stuff like that. Decanter lot grapes. So kind of fancy. You have like more harvestables over here as well. And then over here, we have like this building. So let's just open it up. Oh, okay. So I guess it's like a little rest stop and you can also use the bathroom here. Okay. So you have like some park benches and a bookshelf. And then of course, back here, you just have more harvestables. So yeah, it's kind of giving off like a community garden space. There's even like money trees out here too. So kind of useful, but I think that's like everything for this lot. And then it's right next door to another fishing spot. So down here, you can have your Sims come and fish. I don't know why, but this little section reminds me of that park in the university world. Like it kind of reminds me of that. Oh, there are a couple harvestables, watermelon and grapes out here. But I think that's pretty much everything. Oh, apple tree as well. But <laughs> I think there's like everything for out here. Oh, there's even like a little university sign, I think. Yeah, so it's kind of giving off like a university vibe. So over here, this is called the parquet and this is also the parquet. So I'm assuming it's just like another little strip of like, yeah, just like places to sit and stuff like that. So you have some park benches, fountains. There's a statue in the middle. And I think that's like pretty much everything for here. And then if we go over here on the other side, this is pretty much the same. So they're pretty much mirrored. So those were the last community lots in the world. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to some of the residentials. As y'all can probably already see, there are a lot of houses. So I am not going to get a chance to see all of them today, but I will kind of skip around a little bit. We'll look at some of them. I really wanna see where I placed Elliot down at because like I placed him down over here but I just really want to see what his house looks like and what some of these other houses look like first because like again what is going on on this part of the world I don't know but like I just need to like see what's here you know so this is where I placed Elliot down at he lives in this little starter home as you can see we have like a little like flag out here we have some lights and stuff like that and photos kind of strung up again what was going on over here I don't know Luan can you please explain because I or maybe I need to read like the lot descriptions because what's going on <laughs> but anyway though we do have Elliot out here he's just kind of vibing he has an art easel a little place to sit a place to lounge an all-in-one bathroom out here as well and then let's open up his house because I haven't seen the inside of it yet so over here we just have a bed and then over here we have like a kitchen and like a little place to sit and eat so it's not a super big house as you can see but you do have pretty much all your necessities so you have that why don't we check out the house that's literally right beside his this one looks really interesting I kind of like how it's on like a stilted foundation too that's kind of cool but let's open up this house okay so this one is actually a little bit nicer on the inside so and here we have a living room a bed a place to sit and then we have a dresser and mirror and then over here we have like an outdoor like kitchen there's an all-in-one bathroom and then we have a table and a litter box so if you have a cat you know they could live here um I don't know if there's anything down below no it's pretty just empty down here Okay, so I think this one might also be a starter home. Let's go across the street and let's check out this one. Ooh, so this one actually has a sim that lives here. We have Alon Liano. Hopefully I said that right. Can I just see what they look like really quick if I just zoom down? Okay, I see you just out here vibing. Okay, so let's check out their house real quick though. Oh, there's another sim here too. This sim is Franco Liano. I guess they're related. Maybe this is his son or something. Okay, so we have a bedroom here with a stereo and dresser. So maybe this is like you know, Franco's room or whatever. Over here, we have another room. So this one has a double bed, a TV, bookshelf, and it also has like an ensuite bathroom. And then like over here, we have like a little kitchen section. So you have your fridge, a grill, no stove, but you do have a grill though. So you can still cook, but you have like a little kitcheny area back here behind it. And then right beside it, we have this other house. So this one looks like it's empty, I think. Let's open up this one and see what's on the inside. So inside of here, we have a lofted bunk bed. We have a bookshelf, dresser, a kitchen and then out behind the house we have like an outdoor bathroom and then there's even like some stairs oh and it leads to like another bedroom so you have a bed pull-up bar places to sit tv and grill and i think that's like everything for this house but this one's kind of cool all right let's go like right beside it so this one actually has like some sims that live here too 
So let's see who these are. This is Barry Obana. Hopefully I said that right. And then over here we have Betty. But let's open up this house to see. All right. So when you come in, you have a bunk bed over here. We have a stereo. We have a mini fridge a crib and then we also have a bookshelf and a bathroom over here in the corner i had to like bring the walls all the way down just so y'all could see but this is how it looks when you bring the walls up if you were curious and then there's even like a little clothesline out here with a washing machine so let's go to this house right beside it why is this one like roped off honestly yo the more i look at this neighborhood the more it kind of reminds me of like the walking dead or something or like post-apocalyptic or something so this house is pretty much empty on the inside okay but it's kind of giving off like a walking dead vibe like i don't know maybe it's because i've been watching like a lot of walking dead lately but like it's kind of giving that vibe Ooh, there's also like this other house beside it so there's a couple sims that live at this one so we have so we have estella we have marquita hopefully i said that right and over here we have federico mondia hopefully i said that right and then they also have a horse which is eclipse oh there's also another sim too valentino Okay, let's check out their house though. Maybe this family is doing better than all the other families. Yeah, their house is definitely bigger though. So inside of here, we have a kitchen. We have a living room. There's a bed over here. Going over this way, we have like a laundry room, a bathroom, some bookshelves. And then we have like another bedroom over here in the corner with a desk. And then over here is like a separate house. So you have like, you know, your bed, a kitchen. It has a bathroom over here as well. And then out behind the house, we have a swing set. There is a grill, sandbox, place the lounge and stuff like that two places the lounge actually and then over here we have like our stable with some hay and stuff okay so now let's go across the street because i don't think that we've seen this house so this one has like a bunch of kids outside of it so we have celine simon alvaro and mandy so they all live at this house let's open up this one to see what's on the inside oh and there's also like a sim here too this is josephine okay so maybe she takes care of all the kids or something so inside of here though we have a table we have a tv a kitchen bathroom and then when you go upstairs, we have a bedroom here, a bathroom, and then we have a couple of bunk beds in here. So yeah, so I'm guessing she takes care of all the kids. There's even like a bathroom over here too. All right, so we've seen all the houses over here. So I'm going to just keep moving around. Let's go ahead and maybe go back over here for a second because there was like this other house. I think it's this one right here. I really want to see what this one looks like because this one also caught my eye. And like, if you look at it, it just looks so cool, right? Like, that's really cool like i don't think i've ever seen a house that looks like this before so there's a lot of sims over here at this house now this is the sims household so over here we have lua sim we have luan luan that's literally the creator period <laughs> so i guess you live in this big house over here we have um alito we have lily pole and then over here we have nate so yeah i think they oh that's even like a plum bot we have robert for um but yeah i guess they all live at this house so let's open it up to see so let's let's go all the way down first okay so once you enter you have an elevator a place to sit and you even have like a kitchen area over here so it uses as you can see a lot of stuff from into the future over here we have a dining room with a little aquarium display we have a couple bookshelves over here we have like a living room i'm guessing so you have a tv bookshelves places to sit over here we have a bathroom a nice garage with some really cool futuristic cars i don't think i've ever had a sim use these cars before i need to get on that because that's kind of cool and then like over here we have like an outdoor like tv area i guess or like an outdoor living room over here we have a nice pool in the back with some lounge chairs and there's even like a pond out here too and now let's go upstairs because i really want to see what's here so over here we have like a game room i'm guessing so you have a foosball table you can grill over here if you want to there's an outdoor grill you have a table and then now let's go upstairs again in. so all the way up here i'm gonna try to like have the camera be at an angle because it's kind of hard to see <laughs> but over here though we have a bedroom we have a bathroom and then over here we have like another bedroom with like a bunk bed and then there's also another elevator so when you go upstairs again so when you go upstairs again you have more beds over here there's a bathroom you have some workout equipment and then you have like a little office space over here again it's kind of hard to like move the camera but hopefully you can at least see you know there's even like a little telescope out here too but i think that's like everything for this house but this one really caught my eye y'all i really wanted to see what was here so i think there's also another house that's right beside it i didn't even see this one either but i guess we could check this one out as well like y'all that looks fancy there's so many good houses in this world okay let's just open this one up and see what this one looks like now i don't know if sims live in this one or not it's the hayros Hey Ross household. So I think somebody does live here at this one. So over here we have like a laundry room with some arcade cabinets. We have a couple of elevators. 
There's a bathroom here, some places to sit, and then there's a parking space. Over here looks like a little communal area. So you have a TV, you have a foosball table, you have some bookshelves, a chess table. So I guess it's like a place where everyone can use. So when you go upstairs, we have our elevators here. When you get off the elevator, you have a sitting area, you have a living room area over here, and even like a little balcony with some lounge chairs and an art easel. And then going back this way, we have a workspace, we have our kitchen, our table, we have a bathroom here. And then there's even like another little balcony over here with a hot tub, a bar, a telescope. And then when you go upstairs again, you have like a little outdoor like fireplace section where you can come and chill. There's a fountain here, a stereo. You even have a bedroom here as well. The Sims that live here are living lavishly. There's even like a pretty big bathroom too. Like these Sims are living lavish all like, hello, <laughs> can I live here? Um, but I think that's like pretty much everything for this house. Y'all, the houses in this world are just so good. Now, what about this house right here? I just noticed this one as well. It looks like a little modern home. Oh, this is cute. I like this one. I like the wood paneling on the outside too. So down below, we have a bathroom. We have our living room area, a dining space. We have a little workspace area here with a stereo. We have a bedroom over here that has an ensuite bathroom, which I love the color scheme. And then going over this way, we have a laundry room, nice kitchen area. And when you go upstairs, you have another bathroom here, another bedroom. Over here looks like a home library. So you have a lot of bookshelves there's an art easel in here and then there's even like another bedroom over here as well oh with the walk-in closet i just noticed that it's kind of cool and then like the bedroom has access to a little balcony with a telescope and there's also like another bathroom over here too so yeah yo these sims are living really nice i really like this one too oh there's also this house that's way over here oh this one looks like a ranch style house there's also a sim that's out here too this is agosta paradella hopefully i said that right but this one is nice too it's like a little ranch Let's open it up to see what's on the inside. Let's see, so when you come in, you have a home office space, there's a bathroom, you have like a little closet, I'm guessing over here with a dresser. Over here, we have like a living room and kitchen and dining space. We have a nursery, we have a bedroom here and here. And then outside, we have like a pretty big patio type of area. So you have a juice pong table, a table outside, a grill, and a little place to sit. And then out here in the back, you kind of have like a space for a horse. So you have like a little place where they can jump. Over here looks like a little stable. So let's open this up for a second. Yep, you have like a little stable. There's some hay, a water trough. So yeah, you have like a whole little area for horses out here, which is so cute. All right, y'all. So we'll check out a couple more houses. I kind of wanted to go back this way. And check out what these two houses were because i didn't see what these were let's check out maybe this one first okay so we're down here at this house it kind of looks like an apartment complex so there is a sim outside of the lot this sim is jesse mark Uri, hopefully i said that right but the sama household lives here so i don't know if this sim was just visiting or not i don't know if the samas are actually here but let's just open up the house to see so it looks kind of empty down below you just have like some parking space and then upstairs though we have a bed a bathroom we have our kitchen and then we have a living room and then i think that's pretty much everything yeah so i don't know like where the samas are maybe they're in like this car right here who is this can i see who that is it won't really tell me but maybe that's like the sim that lives there maybe they're just like leaving or something okay and i'm guessing this other house that's right here is also like another apartment complex it kind of looks like one i think this one is empty so let's just check this one out real quick so down it below looks like a little communal area where everyone can just come and chill so you have a place to sit a piano foosball table bar over here looks like the front desk area slash lobby and stuff like that and then when you go upstairs there's really nothing here there's a sim right there though this sim is camille richard so maybe they live here and then when you go upstairs again i don't see anything and then all the way at the top you have like a place to stay so up here we have a bathroom we have our kitchen living room dining space and then you have like two potential bedrooms where you can like add more stuff so i guess this is more like a starter apartment you know you could just kind of move in and like add on to it as you go but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video this world has so many more amazing houses y'all that i didn't even get a chance to see i'm just gonna leave this world link down below if you want to just check it out though because there's like so much more again this world is called rock creek it was by luan and i love this world i gotta play in this world somehow some way like i love this world y'all a lot so anyway y'all that is all that i have for for this video if you want to check out this world i'll leave it linked down below but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this one and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching